Um, and when drawing towards the topic of jihad, uh, when people think of, I guess when we hear the word jihad, everybody thinks of terrorist organizations, Hamas, and all these negative images. Right. Could you, would you mind explaining the difference between... How many of you have been to Las Vegas? What? Las Vegas, how many of you have visited Las Vegas? Oh, come on, be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we say here, stay here. Don't <laughs> I don't know. How many of you have been there in the last five, six years? I have been still there. I've been to Las Vegas twice for business. <laughs> <laughs> for business. Believe it or not, there are beautiful two mosques in, in, uh, in, in Las Vegas and thriving Muslim community. Of course, most of them, they are not in the gambling business. They are in the yeah. hotel and other industries. When I first <laughs> went to Las Vegas, Jihad, we cannot afford to lose Jihad. Jihad is the heart of Islam. Jihad is our, um, if I can say, the spirit and the heart of the way of living in Islam. So, that scene at the Las Vegas airport explains beautifully what, what uh, Jihad is all about. Uh, I got out of my plane going to the baggage claim. I don't know if you can see that. There's a huge sign, enormous big sign, as tall as this ceiling saying submit yourself to your temptations I was speechless for a couple of seconds really <laughs> submit yourself to your temptations and if there's Satan it's right in front of me <laughs> you know what jihad is take that sentence in brackets and put minus one jihad is don't do that don't do that don't submit yourself to your carnal desires don't submit yourself to your temptations. Struggle in every action, in every step in your life to do better. Resist evil and do better. It literally means on a day to day, if you are going to buy a coffee, make a jihad to buy from a coffee brand which is human rights, uh, which has the right carbon copy number. Um, uh, in your treatment of your children, your family, your studies, uh, there's a beautiful Twitter moment, my jihad. What is my jihad? Everybody has their own jihad. Resisting chocolate, giving charity. Uh, for believing, practicing Muslim, this is the bigger jihad. In the words of Prophet Muhammad, coming back from a very crucial, crucial battle, which was, a, which was their very existence were at stake, the second battle. Like, Muslims were so proud that they survived. But when they came back to Medina, Prophet Muhammad says, said, we came from the smaller jihad, less important jihad, to the bigger jihad. Bigger jihad of building and establishing an ethical moral country, a society. The, the companions and the friends of him, they couldn't believe, like what could be lesser than just being able to survive? They could have been completely annihilated, wiped out. So that's the physical jihad in the form of self-defense, only in the form of self-defense, where you will be only fighting against people who are attacking you. And the just war criteria of Islam, and, uh, if you go uh, through and study, uh, it basically, you, okay, you can only fight with the people who fight with you. There is no justification of hurting civilians, innocent people, women and children, not only that, hurting animals, hurting infrastructure, hurting the plants whatsoever. For believing practicing Muslims, it would be dishonest to say jihad is all about personal struggle. But for 99.9% .9 of the first, second, and third category of Muslims, that's what it is. But there's a smaller jihad, which can only be declared by the government, by the political authorities. When the Muslim societies are attacked, there's a physical jihad, the little jihad as well. But it cannot be declared by individuals, like what Osama bin Laden and people like him has been doing. There is a Islam is not a pessimist religion. How many people are pessimists in this world? How many people are absolute pessimists? In any case, definitely don't believe the use of force. Even if you are attacked, your children are attacked. So, you are like Islamic theology and Muslim theology. Most people aren't. Overwhelming majority of Muslims aren't. So the bigger jihad is to live an ethical moral life, loving, caring life. A smaller jihad is a state action against self-defense.